So you want to hear school students talk about their travel experiences, learnings, escapades, episodes, knowledge, incidents from all the corners of the globe. Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. Brought to you by Etera Adventures, committed to truly educational student travel. Hey guys, I am Agastya Veerpodar. And the following is my experience on a three-night and four-day trip to the Ranthambur National Park. I thank the Air Terra Foundation from the bottom of my heart truly for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Terra Talk, a platform from where young voices reach out to the world. The day we arrived here after an energy-draining eight-hour bus ride at two o'clock in the afternoon, I was tired and exhausted. We got one and a half hour to take a quick power nap and freshen up. Then we had some quick icebreaker activities to get to know each other better and of course melt that thick layer of ice between us. I must say that they were quite fun yet energy demanding too. We were then told to form groups for an activity called Theatre Under the Sky which I really did not participate in. We were then given some time to drink tea or coffee which were really refreshing for us considering we had survived an 8-hour bus ride from Gurgaon to Ranthambore and I am not even kidding. Ranthambore is a place filled with Indian culture and with that being said, we were given a remarkable opportunity to watch a very lively and melodious cultural show. After eating to my heart's content from a delicious dinner buffet spread, I finally hit the bed. That was day one. In the early hours of the morning of day two, we all had to act like early risers even though we weren't. Trust me, it wasn't an easy gig at all waking up 5 o'clock in the morning, considering I usually wake up at 7 a.m. even on my regular school days. My canter was number five for the safari. Over there, we saw unique and different types of animals which included a bear, peacocks, deers and even monkeys. Our next excursion of the day was the incredibly long 2 km, incredibly long, tiring but very picturesque walk around the Ranthambore fort. Our respective guides even told us about the fort's incredible structure and about the kings that lived there. That was day 2. On day 3, we visited Dastakar NGO which taught us about women empowerment and even tried to do block printing which I kind of messed up. We also went on another safari which was more or less the same but I spotted a tigress. Ranthambore at the end of the day is a place filled with wildlife and diversity. And with that being said, I would like to conclude this podcast. Thank you. Like what you're listening? Stay tuned for new podcasts on edterra.com slash Talk.